Anyone can learn German seriously. Just follow these steps. My name is Aiskel and I can speak Spanish, German, Portuguese, English and Indonesian. Oh, and French. My German is pretty good. I was raised from my ninth year with German and Spanish in my house and I'm very fluent. I can understand why they, they think that German is hard. I mean, the words are long, the pronunciation can seem hard, but there are instructions that can be followed that make learning the German language very easy. I was raised in Venezuela speaking Spanish as my first language and uh, learning German became part of my life and part of my growing up and my culture. And German came later when I was nine. I moved to Germany with my mother and I learned German as a child. Some tricks that I used to learn German is adapting my mentality to the language as well as my character. I get into a sort of role, I'm German and I adapt the way I express myself as well as the words and the way uh, that I think and use. I can understand why some people get discouraged to learn German. It seems at first such a difficult grammar and pronunciation, but it's very easy actually to follow instructions, um, pronounce the words properly, and the grammar is very consistent. I am a German teacher. I've been teaching German for about four years. I have a student in Hong Kong. She's 16 years old and she learned German with me from scratch. Nowadays, she's become very fluent. Um, in the beginning, she was very scared to open up and speak in German to me. She would listen to me, but not dare to speak. So most frequently we've been um, interacting and asking each other questions about each other, about life, about our families. And that has made her become more fluent in the language by being able to connect the language with her own personal life. There are some sounds in the German language that are very difficult. The R sound I've noticed that many struggle with. Um, my student from Hong Kong, for example, she struggled in the beginning. In the beginning, she didn't know how to pronounce it from the throat, as we do, for example, the word rot. In some states of Germany, uh, they don't pronounce it that way. For example, they would say rot. They pronounce it more from the tongue and the, and the teeth. So it doesn't, in the end, really matter if you pronounce it correctly because there is no correct way. There are many different versions. There are some exercises to pronounce the R letter that is in the beginning of a word better. For instance, you can um, goggle, <laughs> I think you say it in English, as if you have water inside your mouth and you can just play with it, something like that. Since I learned the language when I was nine, it's become easy for me to use it. It became my mother tongue. I speak, I think, I dream in German. I would like to give you three words to practice on your German pronunciation. The first one is Eichhörnchen, squirrel. The second one is Schraubendreher, screwdriver. And the third one, Arbeitslosenversicherung, unemployment insurance. I have mispronounced the number 17 when I was in school. So you say 17, but I said Sipson or something for them strange. And that was the running gig for many years during high school in Germany. Three tips to become better German speakers. The first one would be be confident. It doesn't matter if you don't know the correct pronunciation. Germans like to help. And the second one would be do a lot of vocabulary learning. That will improve your sentence structure. And the third one is be confident in your fluency and don't pay too much attention to the grammar. Grammar is important, but fluency is way more important. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen.